Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you and today we are going to talk once again about protective gear and this one is related with elbows and knees pads if you are doing skateboarding uh, using electric unicycles so if you are searching this kind of products definitely stay tuned until the end of the video because i'm going to show to you the two best brands that you have on the market if you are searching for a solution that also protects the chin guard i definitely recommend you to check the cards above me or the description below because i've done the other episode is knees and chin guards in just one product but let's talk about G-form and what is the comfort and what you are going to find outside of the box. And this is a new material they are using at the moment, so they are much more durable if you have to fall quite constantly. So if you are using skateboarding and stuff like that, I think that this is even more durable than the old generation of G-form. I have to say they are very, very comfortable. In the past, I've been using G-form for one year. If you saw the other video, you already know that. They are much more comfortable because here on the back, you can see that they have this mesh finish you can see that this is much more breathable and also is more flexible and one thing that i really like about the new generation is that now you have two rubbers like you can see it's going to stay in place much better than the old generation that only have one elastic it always says to you which arm it is and in this one is saying left i'm not sure if you can see from there so when you put it you're going to have the logo here where is your elbow you have saying obviously the brand and you can see here saying pro rugged and they are very very comfortable you can see where it's going to finish you finish in the middle of your muscle and that is something that i want to show to you with the other one but let's see the knee guards and in this case it's something that they have improved a lot so i have some knee guards the old ones and this one is once again this material so if you fall you are not going to damage and something that i really like so you can see here also on the back is saying which one it is if it's the right or the left but you have a strap in the old generations they always sleep a bit after a while and with this strap you can maintain them in the same place for a long period of time so you have the mesh finish on the back and you have the logo of G form on the bottom the logo be on the center of your knee and on the top saying G form and from Xion the only thing that I'm going to show to you is the elbows you have also the knees and the comfort will be exactly the same as the other one that is the knee and chin but let's open this one always have a handle so whatever you want to put it they always stays in place you always have a photo saying which product is on the inside like you can see this one very similar it will let you know which arm it is if it's the left or the right also so in this case i'm going to put on the right on the back you are going to find also this mesh finish that you can see is on the inside so it's more breathable and obviously normally here is where you are going to sweat a little bit more you can see that they finish more or less in the same place okay but on the top one finish much higher than the other that is advantage and disadvantage so in this case when we talk about the Xion protective gear is more comfortable what is going to happen because this one is just on the top and is the part that my arm is not so thick it doesn't make so much pressure on the muscle when you are using the G form is on the middle of your muscle so you can feel more the elastic if it makes sense I prefer this design but if it's a hot day I definitely prefer the sensation of the pro rugged because they are not so high so I have more air touching my skin if it makes sense in the same time we are talking about protection so I have always like a layer the price difference it's a bit and uh, once again the Xion protective gear are cheaper like I said about the others if you are going to use t-shirts and things like that I definitely prefer the G forms if you are using your clothes and this is to be on beneath I definitely think that the amount of money that you are not going to spend on the rugged is definitely worth it on these ones the material that is in here is 3DO if you want to see a little bit closer definitely check the other video that I've done but this material is on the market for ages and this one have a different material that is called Amortex it's not as flexible as the other one but it do exactly the same I have to say that I felt a bit more with the uh, Amortex than with the Xion protective gear. Once again, a little bit more bouncy than the 3DO. But both of them, they do exactly the same. And like I said, it's not a massive amount of difference that I felt on this uh, elbow compared to this one. Really soon, I'm going to bring other videos related 
to the protective gears we are going to bring full protections we are going to bring shorts padded so whatever is the protections that you are searching i have you covered and remember whatever is your option they are discounted on the description below